Gary Medical of Regenerative Medicine Clinics. And we're going to talk today about shoulder pain that comes from nerves. So realistically, all pain comes from nerves, but most shoulder pain might come from like an injured ligament where those, you know, those nerves elicit a signal or maybe a torn labrum. Um, but sometimes like a nerve impingement is actually the cause or contributes to someone's chronic shoulder pain. So with the ultrasound machine, we can actually look and find these nerves and treat them appropriately to help uh, cure a patient's pain. So one nerve in particular that can um, be kind of a culprit for a lot of uh, pain in the posterior or back part of the shoulder is called the suprascapular nerve. So I'm going to show you um, on our patient here. So let me just brighten this up a little bit. So this here is the shoulder joint itself. That's the ball and the socket. And I'm just going to move a little bit farther back. And you can see here, this is really clear on her, this kind of divot. Um, in her shoulder blade, right there in that kind of cluster of bright white that you see, lies her suprascapular nerve. And this can be injured, you know, from a direct trauma to the area or just years of, you know, extra force in the shoulder itself that causes a lot of friction um, in between the joint and, and moving of those bones that can put pressure on the nerve. And how we actually would treat that, um, in addition to prolotherapy to the shoulder if that's needed, is we'd actually do like a nerve regenerative release technique where we take a non-inflammatory or mild inflammatory solution and come in with the ultrasound and inject it around this area to free up any nerve constriction that's there and help to regenerate the nerve so it no longer causes pain. And we're gonna talk a little bit about cysts that come with labral tears. So not uncommon for us to see patients um, that come to the office with a labral tear in their shoulder that are trying to avoid surgery and stay active or get back to their sport. Oftentimes patients will see maybe on their MRI or will find it on ultrasound that they have a cyst that accompanies that labral tear. And I'll show you on, um, on our patient here, she doesn't have one, but where it would be. If we look here, so this um, is the back of the shoulder. This is like the ball and socket of the joint. Then we have this little tiny kind of triangle where we can see the labrum in the joint capsule. And as we go a little farther posterior in this kind of spinal glenoid notch, uh, this can actually be a common location for a cyst that's developed from a labral tear. And we would be able to see like a big kind of pocket of fluid there. It might be pushing on a nerve that lays in there, the suprascapular nerve and causing issues there. And we can actually, with ultrasound guidance, drain the cyst uh, if it is large and pressing on that nerve and uh, get that to go away while also treating the shoulder comprehensively to heal the labral tear.